so nice to finally sit here and be able to talk to you guys because I feel like it's been forever since I've done that. And the reason why I haven't been able to do intros in my videos is because everyone is home and it's kind of impossible for me to sit here and film with so much background noise going on. Right now you guys can probably hear my AC and I should probably get a mic for that so I can be able to do talk through. I was very excited to bring you guys this bronzy summer look. I wore this to the beach the other day and I didn't get to take as many pictures, but this is for those people who like to wear makeup, even if you're just going to the beach. This doesn't necessarily have to be for the beach. It can be for a night out. Maybe you're going on a date. It's summer. I don't know exactly what I'm going to call this look either, but it's a very summer bronzy beachy look and I really ended up loving it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you guys can see more upcoming videos, and don't forget to follow my social media. If you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Scandinavia Primer Spray. And to fill in my pores, I'm using the Porefessional by Benefit to give me that baby smooth skin. And we also want to keep our lips moisturized and protected from the sun, so I'm using this Sun Bum Chapstick, and it does contain SPF. Taking my MAC concealer, I'm going to be hiding all my little blemishes and this acne that I have going on. I have no idea what's going on, you guys, but it's like, it's getting, it's getting crazy. <laughs> but since I am using a lighter coverage foundation, I decided to go over any redness. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. If you want to skip foundation or BB cream, you can definitely go out like this. But I wanted that little extra coverage. So I've been using this NYX BB cream and I believe it is their 03 shade. And I'm going to be working this in with a damp beauty blender. Since I am going to be out in the sun, I don't want a heavy coverage foundation which typically I would choose but I really love this BB cream because it does have the highest coverage that I've experienced with any BB cream and I seriously love it and I love how I didn't get oily when I went to the beach it's just it's so good to hide my under eye circles and just any discoloration I got going on I'm using this NYX HD studio concealer in the shade beige and I am going to use this to highlight a little bit to bring more illumination to the face and I usually like to let this sit in for a little bit and I was eating some fruit because I was getting really hungry but then after a couple of seconds or even minutes I go ahead and work it in with a damp beauty blender set everything I'm using the RCMA translucent powder this is my number one and I would kind of not really recommend to bake but typically I do just so I make sure my makeup doesn't budge but just for the sake of this look I'm not really going to so I'm just going to sweep this in all the areas I concealed and also all around my face just to set the BB cream then taking my Tarte palette I believe this is kind of like an oldie but I really wanted to use it on camera and especially for this look I'm going to take the bronzy look and apply it all over my eyelid and taking this matte cool tone shade, I'm going to be blending out any harsh lines and just in my crease so it can look a little bit more smoked out. And I am keeping it very light on the eyes. Just keep in mind, you don't have to do your makeup to go to the beach. But I personally love to for pictures and, you know, if you're going on a date or anything like that. Then taking this slanted blending brush, I'm going to be blending any harsh lines that were created. And then taking the white matte shade in the palette, I'll be placing this on my brow bone just to clean everything up. And I really wanted to sparkle things up a little bit, so I took the gold shade and placed it on the center of my eyelids for that little golden bronze look. Then I'll be curling my eyelashes for some lift and I'll be focusing on really curling them because I'm just going to be applying mascara and I am using my favorite one by L'Oreal which is a telescopic carbon black mascara. I didn't use waterproof mascara just because I don't own any but you can go ahead and use some. And I'll also be applying some to my bottom lashes. Then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia one but another great dupe is this NYX Tame and Frame one. But for this look I am using the Anastasia one and I'm just going to be shaping my brows with this and then I go ahead and fill them in with the NYX Cake Brow Powder. And to set them in place, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. To bronze, I'm going to use the Ulta Matte Bronzer in the shade Warm on this big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. I did recently get these brushes and I seriously can't put them down. They are so good. I'll have them linked down below. And then to further on sculpt my nose, I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer. 
you can definitely skip this step, but I just, I love contouring my nose just because it gives the illusion of it being a little bit thinner. Since it is the beach, I will intensify my glow by using the ColourPop Wisp Cream Highlighter. It's so bouncy. I seriously love this cream highlight. It's so beautiful also. And I'll be placing this on the top of my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, and also my cupid's bow. Then taking the Makeup Revolution Vivid Shimmer Brick, I'm going to be mixing the first three shades and I'll be popping this on top of my cheekbones. With that reaction, you guys know that I am obsessed with this highlight. I seriously couldn't stop putting some on. It is so good and a very a little bit goes a long way and I am applying this where I cream highlighted and with a clean brush I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything out and taking the darker shades I'm just going to further on add a little bit of a shimmery bronze and to outline my lips I'm using the Italia lip liner in the shade mauve and for lip gloss I am using the Buxom Ava lip gloss it's so gorgeous I love it and it does give a little bit of a plumping effect and taking a little bit of that cream highlight, I'm going to be adding this on top. My lips can look a little bit more metallic-y. And since I forgot to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm just taking a little bit of that shimmer brick and placing this on the inner corners. And to set our makeup in place, I'm using the Scandinavia Finishing Spray. And your look isn't complete if you don't spray some beach spray just to give you those nice texturized waves. today's makeup tutorial don't forget to subscribe to see more upcoming videos follow my social media my instagram my twitter my snapchat it'll all be you know in this little corner or this little corner if you guys recreate any of my looks i would love to see them so please go ahead and send them to me that is pretty much it i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye